Hey guys, how's it? What's cracker like? And yeah, I have my hair up. I just got out of the shower. I do this to make curls. <laughs> my parts came. I know I look like crap. Fuck it. I'm gonna be working on my car, so whatever. Um, it's my trailing arm. <clears throat> I do want to. Hang on a sec. 33. My cankle's getting better. I, um... These mermaid cards were calling to me. I have so many decks of cards in Colorado. It's insane. Support coming through. Just wanted to see what they had to say. <clears throat> Communication. I heard coming in fast. Okay. I see the turtle. So things have been slow for a while. We already know that. <laughs> They're like, tell us something we don't know. That communication's coming in. I'm hearing when you least expect it, 144. Uh, look at her hand. She's like, <sighs> what? What? <clears throat> Letting go. Feeling like you were tangled up in something. But you're letting all that go. So you're releasing it. <clears throat> Here's the decisions. We got decisions again. So. The decision to let go, so communicate. I'm having deja vu. Like, here we are. Back to where you once belong. Get back. Get back. Sitting back, taking it easy. I saw 244, you know, being recognized for, for things maybe you don't even see. Right? <laughs> that you're the light. You don't say. Blessings. Shining your light on blessings. All right. Going with the flow. They wanted to switch up. Really <clears throat> interesting because these cards, you could tell they're the most wore out. I've had them the longest. These were some of my first cards I ever got. Some of them. My first ones were Dolphins and Mermaids or something. I can't remember. I bought them from a bookstore. Um, Rainy Day Books, I think. Or Half Price Books, I mean. The wheel in the sky keeps on... I want to, uh... Alright, I'm done shuffling, I guess. Um... Let's see here. So, those of you... Mm, what is it? The star. The star right between blessings and light. Right on top of it, right? That's where the star. You are the star. Happy times. So, recognition. I, what about recognition? Oh. Recognition. When you are recognized, there's so much that's going to be going on. You're going to need help.
I don't know about all this. Well, we got nine of air sideways. Expecting the worst, self-fulfilling prophecies. Yeah, that came out sideways because you're moving, remember? Ding, 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 ding. You're moving out of that. This is a whole lot of cards. Let me just take a look at them real quick. But no. No. Why is everything falling upside down? So, this came out sideways. Missing an opportunity. You're moving away from that. Strength ended up falling in reverse. I'm getting like residual things. Um, get it out of your head. What I'm getting is like, get it out of your head. You have the strength. You have the strength. Maybe today you don't feel like it. But that doesn't matter. You're moving away from this. You didn't think you had the strength to do so. <clears throat> this is what flipped over. But you're moving towards those happy times. And that was on the recognition. Or should have been. You know, the ten of fire. Mm. Everything you've been doing, you've been learning from that. No, tell me what the five and the moon. What do you mean five of air? All right, that stayed on the bottom. Great sadness. You don't feel that way today. Thank you. You're not feeling that way today. Thank you. Today you feel great. Oh, the releasing of the moon. This is what's being shown. We already showed you the Empress. The great sadness. And then you have the High Priestess, which is a two and another two. Um, the High Priestess and the Two of Fire. So under the light of the moon of what we're going through right now, things are being illuminated, right? You're getting psychic information. Something's coming in. But once you release all of this, the great sadness, this is the, the residual of things that um, you're, I've heard you're leaving behind. Yeah. There you go. Ace of Fire, an exciting new opportunity, great advancement, change in your life now. Um, I'm just going to say, those of you that are called for um, any healing at all, this is your time, right? The healing wheel, I heard. The medicine wheel. Six of Earth. Balance. Gifts of money. I, heard, I saw false, before I even saw this card, I heard false entrapment. So... Yeah, things are going to take off quick. Page of Water, a new person, right? Sudden events that happen. Look at these knights and the pages and the three of earth. Um, <clears throat> yeah, renewal. Knight of Fire on the bottom. Um, so... Things being illuminated under this full moon. The energies are crazy. Crazy for feeling so lonely. I don't know how that song goes. <laughs> On the split. On the split, Empress. I you like my little... <laughs> it's just a sock. And you wrap your hair around it, right? And then you twist it around and you take the... I'll show you when I take it out. It's just easier when my hair's all wet to be like that. Blockage is being removed. You closed off your heart. Didn't want to see anything because you were in deep reflection. Like the hermit energy. 
right? Um, they said shuffle one more time. Um, deep reflection. The Empress. The Fool. Got your little white dog with you. Got a little rose in your hand. I like that because I love roses. You won victory. It's like taking candy from a baby I'm getting again. Hee <laughs> hee. I'm taking all these and I'm out. Under the moon of the light. Right? So... She works hard. I was going to say he works hard for his money. It's like, what I'm getting is like all this stuff is being illuminated. Just like the sun in here, right? The sun is shining. Contemplation is what I'm getting with this. The contemplating your next moves. This is coming up. Going with the flow. He got healing under that. What do we have here? Ace of Wands. Eight of Wands, which makes nine completion, being handed something coming in fast. Maybe by a, I was going to say fire sign, but swords is not a fire sign. It's an air sign. Coming in with stability. Mastering your craft. You have Queen of Swords, but over here, you have the King of Swords. So we have a pair. A couple. Yep. It's all coming out in the moon. Fuck it, the moon. What do you have, a lobster down there? I wanted to say Scorpio when I saw that. Even though that's a... Yeah, all the illusions coming to light. An offer coming in. The lovers on the split we got that the queen and her bird moving away coming out of hermit mode here we got two nines coming out of hermit mode before we had an eight the lovers is a six so all we're missing is the seven <clears throat> and got ten the wheel. The wheel in the sky keeps on turning. Mm. Queen of Cups, you got a hold of your emotions. You're not in your head so much anymore. I heard putting it to paper now. I had to let you go. I had to let you go to move on. I left two of you standing still. <laughs> and that's another ten, right? A page of cups. That small, still voice. Right, I know it's in the cup, but that, that small voice that's been speaking to you. We've got to move on. We've got to move on. You don't need anyone else. Just move on by yourself, right? What voice are you listening to? What voice are you listening to? Is it a voice? Is it part of your ego that we're letting go? Is it telling you you'll never get that? You'll never get love? No one's ever going to love you. Look at me. Look at me. No one's ever going to love me. I have nothing. But you have everything. That the eye can't see. 
It's a spiritual thing. You're a beautiful person inside and out. That's what someone will see. And that you work hard. You keep your head down. You work hard. You don't try to fuck nobody over. Okay? You're doing great. I want to get these cards off of here. Um, <clears throat> so, yesterday, and for those of you who are interested in energy healing and Reiki, um, or energy healing <clears throat> at all, um, this message could be for you as well. Oh, of course it is. I know, you can tell I'm really totally not into this. I got my mind all over the place. But what I wanted to tell you guys is speak your mind with confidence. Okay. Um, yesterday I, I, was, I did a, a little session um, for a friend of mine. Um little distance session, you know, wasn't feeling well. And it was really interesting because what came up hmm, what came up is truth and support together. Go with the flow and healing. Um yeah, yeah, thank you for the healing. We gotta look up two eleven <clears throat> two eleven in progress. Um that's robbery I think in cop terms. Um seventeen eleven. Haven't we looked that up before? Were we looking up two eleven? Alright, let's do this real quick. So, um, and when I was sending him healing energy, I noticed blockages. I noticed, um, I could tell in his auric field, right? His energy center auric field. You know, I, I noticed it was his sacral chakra that he needs to work on. That there was attachments. There's some kind of attachment. Um, and I began to see <clears throat> not only medically, but, um, and I was trying to clear out the junk. And, and, you know, I can't speak too much on it because it's, it's personal. For him, right? In many states, dialing 211 provides individuals and families in need with a shortcut through what can be a bewildering maze of health and human services agency phone numbers. So, if you need help, you dial 211, I guess. Okay, that's great. Angel number, meaning is angel... Number 211 angel number means a new cycle is set to be in motion and that this turn of the wheel will lead you to dazzling new places in your spiritual growth and I'm not clicking on it so it is a police code Colorado 211 Colorado Answering 211 calls means offering a hand to someone needing help up. It provides possible solutions in a matter that allows the person needing... Needing what? Blessings. So that's in Colorado. Interesting. Um, you know, I wore a Colorado shirt, two different shirts for a couple days. Meaning of the number 211 in the Bible. 
It is often translated as offering, present, meat offering, or sometimes oblation in the King James as in the following. Hmm. What do you do for money, honey? Right? So, and be thankful. We already know that. To always be thankful. Use your discernment. Dig in these cards today. Um, taking a moment. Taking a moment when things come through, right? I mean, <clears throat> let's talk about this for a second. Okay, this is how these are. So, you know, you take your hair, you wrap it around, and then you wrap this around, right? And then you use this part to just go pink. And you could do three of them. They usually have, you know, three. One in back and one on each side. But. Just going to take it out for now. I need my hair cut again. My bangs. My bangy bangs. I wanted to turn. That light was so bright. But, uh, <clears throat> it came early. It came early. 2211 meaning. 2211 is the mother of all messages, mess of all messenger numbers. And when it appears, you'll want to take note. It paves the way for rapid changes, adaptability, awareness, decisions. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see what it means spiritually, since it's sitting right there. Master number 22 and number 11. Another master number. 11 is associated with spiritual enlightenment, inspiration, and intuition. Angel number 22 amplifies the spiritual aspects of 11, signaling a deep connection to spiritual growth and insight. I fucking dig it. Sunsigns.org, a symbol of assurance. Angel number 2211 brings with it the messages of love, hope, encouragement, assurance of better tomorrow, guidance, support, and peace. Didn't we get that support card? couple times that we got <coughs> okay fuck you you don't want me to speak sorry it's gonna happen don't mind that the 2323 angel number reminds us to trust in the divine timing of our lives it assures us that we are being supported and guided by unseen forces of the universe, even when our path may seem uncertain or challenging. <clears throat> I'm just going to say, coming out of your solitude, or maybe some of you are going into it. I didn't think about that. Thank you for bringing that up. All right? Everyone's on a different path right now. Maybe some of you are going into your solitude or you just started getting into your solitude. Well, honey, you've come to the right place because we've been like this for a long time. <laughs> so, he wasn't feeling very well yesterday. So, I said, you know, I will send you some healing energy. And when I tapped in or stepped in or opened up to um 
what I was getting all around his head. I can feel, like, see. It's like gray blockages, right? But I could see that there's attachments, I told him. Attachments. And, um, you know, there's a lot of pain and sorrow. Now, he wasn't feeling real well, and that's not what was coming up. It was what was coming up, and that's the thing with, with Reiki, or energy healing 2525, is that you may want a particular thing, right, healed or looked at or whatever, but healing comes from you. you got to know that. Reiki works regardless, but it's up to you if you really want to be healed or not. Um, 2525, things you should know. Angel number 2525 means changes on the horizon. And though it may be scary, it ultimately led you to your life's purpose. And love, 2525, is a nudge to be open with yourself and your partner and not to be afraid to take risks. If you've been hiding how you feel, practice speaking the truth. And not just in relationships, but period. Right? In, 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 in your life, period. <clears throat> Dive deep keeps coming out. We're getting it then. So, you know, coming to... Coming to Miracles, 2626. Let's look it up. Let's see what happens there. 2626. The sign you need to listen to your instincts and work to find balance in your life. You may be lonely in love, perhaps because you're single or with the wrong person. Be honest with yourself about the steps you need to to take to get what your heart desires. Dive deep. The one thing that they've been saying is you need to dive deep. I'm hearing no more playing small. Diving deep. What is it you really want in your life? Be thankful for everything you have. Your inner knowing. This is what's so important right now. Oh, God. Friendships. Friendships are coming. Being a friend to yourself, 2727. What would you... I'm going to have to look that up. What would you say to yourself if you... What would you say to yourself? What would you say to a friend? Take your own advice. How would you tell your friend to be in the... Wow, 1 Corinthians 9, 26 to 27 just came up. <clears throat> 1 Corinthians 9, verses 24 to 27 builds a metaphor comparing Paul's foregoing freedoms in order to win people to faith in Christ with an athlete training to win a prize. Both voluntarily give up things to which they are otherwise entitled. That requires self-sacrifice and a tough approach to one's own feelings. Wow. Okay. But you know what we were doing? We were looking up 2727. That's interesting. I'm going to go over here. And I'm going to go 2727, meaning... I'm leaving that one up because that appeared... So 2727, things you should know. Angel number 2727 symbolizes harmony, balance, and intuition and encourages you to trust your instincts when making decisions. 2727 encourages you to practice self-reflection and do grounding exercises like meditation to achieve spiritual enlightenment. Got the wheel. And a whole bunch of stuff the moon, the star. Things are going to be going at a fast pace and you're going to need help. I'm here with like collaboration. What is that? Eight of water. I desire to move on. I saw three of water. I heard collaboration. Three, eight is eleven. Look at all that beautiful green. So 
there isn't anything you can't do. Be grateful that sometimes things don't turn out how you want them to because it's so much better. I don't want to work on my car, you guys. <laughs> I don't feel like it. I'm tired. I'm still trying to wake up. Mm. Events moving at a fast pace, I heard. Get it done. That's what you've been waiting for. Now you don't want to. What the fuck? I do, but it's cold out. <sighs> I have no idea what these are. Yeah, seeds well planted. Celebration. You're going to be celebrated. Oh, you're going to be celebrated. Not celebrating. You're going to be celebrated for all your hard work. Once you get past this next little hurdle, you're tired of hurdles. I get it. I so get it. Um, but, you know, <sighs> people listening to you may start out as three people, but it will grow. You have what it takes. And that's truth, right? Here comes the chariot. All aboard. So, back to this... Back to this... Um, still got that on the bottom. Let's move it. So... Energy healing. So, the tower, death, emperor, for your highest good. Yeah, the sun. The beautiful sun is out now. Um, so, <clears throat> I told him, you know, he needs to do, you know, their sacral work. And I was, I was like going... It's just really weird. I was like trying to like jumpstart his the light, like sparking that light. And and I believe I told him I said I could spark thirty three thirty three. I said I could spark that light. But you're the one who has to water it. You're the one who has to feed it. You're the one who has to nurture it. Um, some of us because of our past things that have happened or things that we do, um, we get attachments. We get these dark entity attachments. And it just feels like that. It feels like a darkness. It, it, you know, and there's so much crap that we pick up on our energetic body and our energetic field, you know. And I can, it's like crud builds up in my hand. It's like, gah, to clear all that away. Now, I am a person that likes to work with people that have a lot of physical pain as well. That's my intuitive touch therapy. That's my hands-on. My hands, my, what's in me, I just let it go. It knows what to do. I eventually, then I get visions in my mind's eye of um, the whole skeletal system. That, that I didn't go to school for reflexology, acupuncture, any of that. It's already in me. I've done this before another life. So when we just allow and surrender to it, 3454, then it's like it's like that movie Infinite, I guess. 
when we allow it, when we open up and we come home to ourselves and as we raise our vibration, as we, the allowance of things, allow, allow, allow. Um, I got to write 3511. I'm not going to look it up. I'm going to look it up after we're done. I don't know why that is, but 3511. So that's eight and two. Or you can leave it as 11, right? Because that's a master number, right? Which goes to 10, which goes to 1. So here's the 1. Or, or we have 3511, which is how it came to me first, which was 8 and 11. Turn that eight on its side, and it's like infinity. What comes around goes back around. Eleven is the, is the, the unity. Eleven is the the one and the one and the balance. They're giving me balance. Okay. They're giving me balance. So, look up thirty five eleven on your own. Scratch that, I guess. It's not that I'm a liar, it's just that they changed their mind. We're going to look at 3511. <clears throat> they wanted me to write that whole thing. See, I just love how this goes. When you surrender to this shit, it just, you don't have to know why. It just, hope and optimism. Hope and optimism are your working tools for a better tomorrow. Angel number 3511 is wishing for the best in what you are doing. And I'm talking about my energy healing. I'm talking about, it's not that my energy, it's my natural gifts. It's who I am. It's what's of me. I don't need to think it. I don't need to go, well, is it me? Is it? It's not. I'm the conduit. Just like giving these messages. I'm the conduit. I'm the pipe from which the water flows. I'm the rays for which the sun reaches you. You will be speaking. People want to hear what you have to say. I'm getting people bumps, you guys. So, hey, I know this is for me. Is this for you? And um, I'm believe that it might be time that I am um, um, maybe I'm being called to utilize my gifts now. This is what, can I tell you a little something? This is what I've been afraid of. Like I told my daughter, I said, because with great power comes great responsibility. And by the words that you speak can either bring life or take it. Meaning, I don't want to say that word, D-E-A-T-H. Life or D A T H, spiritually. I'm not talking physical, but whatever could be physical as well. Don't lose sight of what I'm talking about. Um, being afraid of your own power and knowing what you're stepping into has been my thing. I I want to be one thousand, one hundred thousand percent healed to the point that no matter what occurs, that I will never speak ill with such intensity and force come out of my mouth. Because when you speak, you move mountains. Think about it. So there's a great responsibility. And when it's time, it's time. And when you're called, you're called. So, um, in case you haven't noticed with me, um, have I noticed? I guess I have a little bit. The way I speak and how I do things now, it's different, isn't it? It's because I have Godfidence. Con. I'm not a con artist. It's not conning my way through confidence. I like how they did that. It's Godfidence. Because it's not me. It's the Father. It's the God, that Creator. So, I don't need to have confidence. I have Godfidence. There's a difference. Can you tell? Give two fucks, right? 
It's not that I don't care. I do care, but it's it just it's different now. That's when you know you're healing and you're coming into balance. You're not too much this way. Oh, I'm supposed to be love and light and love and light and love and light. You're an asshole. Call a spade a spade. You know or you don't. This is how we speak. Riddle me this. Namaste.